Most people think of Cincinnati Children's as a place to get medical care, but it is also a hotbed of research, especially now with COVID-19. Cincinnati Children's is putting $450,000 to six different projects. That means researchers here will be looking at, among other things, developing SARS-CoV-2 nanoparticles as a potential vaccine. They're also looking into how coronavirus impacts the heart and sickle cell patients, along with how disruptions tied to the virus affect foster children and kids with ADHD. I spoke with Dr. Hector Wong about it. I think it reflects that we have such a deep and talented pool of researchers here. One of the top points of interest is this nanoparticle vaccine. How does that work? Yeah, so it's really cool. So in general, the way vaccines work is that sometimes you have a, an attenuated virus or some of the newer technology is our, um, sort of like the genetic sequence of the virus that has the body respond to that and create antibodies. This is a little bit of a different twist. What the nanoparticles do is that they serve as sort of a scaffold um, almost as if it's an artificial virus. And then onto those nanoparticles, we can put the antigens, which, is, which are parts of the virus, that that's what the body responds to. Do we know if there are any side effects to something like a nanoparticle vaccine? We need to see, that's part of the testing that needs to go on. People's ears perk up when they hear the word vaccine. So what can they expect in the way of a timeline? Here? Yeah, this is gonna be over a year, all right, because a lot of the testing still needs to be done. Uh, it, it will start in animal models and then progress to humans. So this particular technology is not as far advanced as some of the other things that you see on the news, which use more traditional approaches. I think it's a whole new stream of technology now for, um, for vaccine development. Meaning it could serve as a template for future vaccines. I asked the doctor if there's a chance the vaccine wouldn't happen before COVID-19 is gone. He told me we need to develop multiple strategies in the event we need them.